Hello everyone, this is another care collab on the Renanthera Monahica. I know we've been doing a lot of these, but if people are making their videos and it's about a plant of ours that's doing well, we might as well join in. The other channels participating on the care collab are now on the screen, and you can also find the links in our video description. Our Renanthera was purchased six years ago, as close to blooming size, but for years it did nothing for us. We kinda knew it was a lack of appropriate light, but we didn't have a better solution for it at the time. It ended up blooming for us for the first time in 2020, after being placed under artificial light. We still keep it under the same light, a normal T5 bulb, but we'll probably transition into LEDs at some point. Other care guides indicate this plant needs light above 3000 foot candles, so we keep it very close to the light. It has bloomed every year for us ever since, with the flower spike making its first appearance in the beginning of the year. In terms of temperature, it requires warmth throughout the year, with the minimum it can handle being 15 degrees Celsius. Our summers are pretty warm, and the winters are not as warm as its native environment in the Philippines, but it is always above 15 degrees, so it might slow down a little bit in winter, but it does not suffer. This Renanthera should be kept with high humidity, although we manage to keep it around 60% humidity. This might be because we keep it potted, and even though it's in a net pot and with quite chunky bark, it does maintain more humidity to the roots than if it was bare rooted. We also keep this net pot inside a decorative container most of the year, and that seems to work well to maintain both humidity and ventilation around the roots. Because of this airiness of the medium, we manage to water it at the same weekly schedule as the rest of our collection, and still allow the bark to dry completely in between waterings. We don't do anything special when it comes to fertilizer, other than our usual schedule of half dose every other week. We would absolutely recommend this orchid to anyone looking to add a vandacious orchid to their collection. Not only are the blooms really beautiful and interesting, it has a compact size and it's really easy to care for, as long as you're able to give it the light it needs. If you're interested on this plant, don't forget to check out the other channels participating on the Care Collab for more information. Also give this video a like and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And we'll see you next week. Goodbye!